morning how you doing how you doing how you doing <sighs> what is today when Wednesday <laughs> uh, I don't know what day it is anymore all righty oh sorry I had to read something okay so it is Wednesday and Sully slept through the night. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Oh, thank God. He said he's he said there's still he's still having pain, but it's not as intense. He said it's livable. So that is a really good thing for him. So he talks to the doctor next next Tuesday. He has a video chat with him. So, thank goodness. So hopefully today goes smoothly, but he was, he was feeling good. He was feeling much better last night and this morning. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't in a lot of, so much pain this morning. So that is a good thing. <sighs> so what else is going on? Um, I had my breakfast. I, it's funny, I was talking to a friend of mine and she was, she was, I don't know, we were just chit-chatting and I was eating my breakfast. I had, um, broccoli and sweet potatoes and cheese sauce and I just kind of like mashed it all up and she says, oh my gosh, she said, what the hell are you eating for breakfast? She said, that's disgusting. I said, it's really not, it's, it's really tasty, you know? And I says, what are you eating? And she's like, chocolate cake. And I said, okay then, what's, <sighs> you're having cake for breakfast and you're making fun of my breakfast? I think mine's a bit healthier than yours. I had a really delicious breakfast, okay? And I brought the same for lunch <laughs> because I had two things of it. And then I brought, what did I bring with me? I brought a small salad with me. Um, I can't see. Small salad and what else? Some cherry tomatoes to just munch on if I get hungry and some carrots. I have a long day today, so anyway. I'm gonna try off here. Um, I ordered some, uh, oh my gosh, what is it called? Liquid smoke because I cannot find it anywhere. All I find is hickory. I don't see any apple or pecan. So, cause I want to make, um, Jill Mac MacGyver. I think that's her last name. Anyway, her game changer cheese sauce. And I keep saying I'm going to make hers, I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it, and I never do because I get everything all ready to go and I don't have the right liquid smoke. And I'm sure you could use the hickory. I just have not used the hickory at all. So the only time I've used the hickory smoke is when I made those carrot dogs. Now that, people, those carrots taste exactly like hot dogs. I kid you not. I know. I think I've showed you, I've shared this before with you, but they do. They taste exactly like hot dogs. I'll make them again at some point. But that's that. <laughs> we had pouring rain all day yesterday, all night. We really, really needed it. So now there's like huge puddles everywhere. Puddles, puddles everywhere. So, anyways, that's all I have to say. I have nothing to say this morning. And I already told you what I was eating and what I ate. My neck feels better this morning. I've been using the, the uh, what do you call it? That CBD oil stuff that my daughter had. She told me to try that, so I did. And that seemed to help. And that's that. Alrighty, I will catch you later.
the word for today is want. Sometimes I struggle with the word want because what usually comes to my mind are material things and knowing all I, ha all I need and knowing I have all I need. I am tempted to denounce that word. However, want is also the, like desire and it is admirable to want to be our best, feel our best, eat the best food available, and strive to have the healthy body we were intended to have. But how do we materialize what we want in our lives when there is a cost involved? The cost could be financial, but usually it has to do with exchanging one thing for something else that we want even more. For instance, the other day I wanted a potato instead of a salad, but I made the choice for a salad based on my short-term goal of getting back to my goal weight. Dr. Doug Lyle talks about cost-benefit analysis in his podcast on YouTube, which is something to consider when we make decisions. This is a good lecture to watch. He explains that cost is often the amount of energy, planning, thought, and preparation it will take to make difficult, different choices. The path of least resistance is to follow old habits, but when we want to chart a new path, it takes energy. Are we willing to pay the price? Getting honest with ourselves is a key to accepting new challenges. Do we really want to improve our health? And if so, what price are you willing to pay? Are we willing to go the distance or do we just want to play at it and pretend we can have our cake and eat it too? What do you really want? If you are having a crisis, it can be your friend. Embrace it. Let it teach you what you need to learn.